My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Thanksgiving's over, Christmas is here, and you got elves. And they're not elves. Uh, gobble, gobble, and happy oh, Thanksgiving uh, for next year. The first to tell everyone happy Thanksgiving for next year. You see I'm demonstrating a new look today. Uh, that'll go down as one of my bad ones. You look like you put those on and walk into a bookstore, and no one buys it. Me or the book? Comment. <laughs> Jake or the book. Jake or the book below. Let's get right into the sports. It's Jim, an interesting time of the year for sports. You, me, and Zach's World Cup is going on. How about our USA? The tie across the world, Wales and England, your two home countries. Watch out, Scotland. They pulled the beer right before the World Cup in, in the stadiums. Budweiser pissed because they pay $75 million to sponsor the World Cup. And they're not selling beers in the matches. I don't get it. Yes. Because they would have made money from all the beer sales, but did they just think that they would have, like, did they think imminent danger was going to happen? Like, we're like too many fights and like stadium collapses and they set fire to the stadium. And, like, we can't have this, you know, temperance movement. Cutter, Qatar. Supposed to be Cutter? I think so. Like, breaking away? Cutter. Number one movie where a kid pretends to be Italian and rides a bike around his college. Zach? Mine's breaking away. You can't take that one. I like that we got a quote here from Diego Ambrick, a 29-year-old from Mexico. Who Reasonable a guy. Attending his first World Cup. And the New York Times got this quote of him. It's a disaster. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that one. I was ready for some stuff. Your trees do stuff, too. Uh, not that, <laughs> not, not that man. Them, grabbing them. We're going to this almost to break down. Devils fans litter the ice with cans after the third. Not <clears throat> one, not two, not three. The third. Well, yes, three. three. The yes, third three. disallowed yes, goal. Yeah, almost a breakdown. Uh, the whole stadium broke down. I think it was the day before Thanksgiving. So rowdy crowd. Yeah. Three goals getting turned away. And for three different reasons. I think one was in the crease. Or interference. The other was goalie interference. And the third was they kicked it in. So three goals got turned away. Now, the Devils would have won 14 games in a row. Say the Devils again. The Devils would have won 14 <laughs> games in a row. I'm doing a show. The Devils. The, de <laughs> the Devils. The Devils. Uh, and they didn't. They didn't win because of all the goals that got turned away. And the first fan threw a hat. Like uh, celebrating the refs, a hat trick. Yeah. And the rest is creative which is enough. Creative like and that. harmless and yeah. fun. The rest of the crowd just threw their garbage. When you said devils, you kind of sound like the old man in the neighborhood talking about the little kids. The devils. The devils came into my yard. My grandpa used to, he was digging a well in his front lawn, and the and kids used to come. It's itchy right there? Right here on a crease. The kids used to come and they used to kick dirt into the well he was digging. Yeah. So finally he lit a rag on fire and threw it to the bottom of his hole. And then he was in there and he was digging and he jumped out and screamed when all the neighborhood kids were out and they were so, ah, oh my God, kids, stay away, stay away. And they all came over and the whole bottom was on fire and he just crawled out and he said, I hit him. And then the little devils never mess with his hole ever, ever again. More sports, please. Go bet on the World Cup or hockey or more sports at DraftKings. Go check out DraftKings. Jim, this one, I don't know if you can bet on. A Chinese man runs a 328 marathon while chain smoking. You can bet on this somewhere. A runner who goes by the nickname Uncle Chen. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Rip darts for a full marathon, so we celebrate this man. It sucks for the people running around him. That's when I did, when Ooh, they said his name was... hand. They said his name was Uncle Chen. Right. I was like, oh, yeah, I like this story. And then towards the end, they're like, all the other runners... Like get don't like it because they're trying to run a marathon and be all healthy. And this dude's blowing cigarette smoke in his face the whole way. That would make me anti Uncle Chen. Uncle Chen <laughs> confirmed that he was not trying to set a new Guinness World Record. Yeah. This was just for me. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Which would you rather do? Chain smoke for three and a half hours or run a marathon? Run a marathon. I mean, you'd lose a whole day. Time's how, a valuable thing. How long's thing. a marathon? How long's a marathon? Do I have to do a full 26. one? 26.2 miles. I can't do the the other ones? It's either chain smoke for three and a half hours or you have to run a marathon, which for you, I think we're looking at six hours. Can I wear wheelies? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'll do 10 cigarettes if I get wheelies. So now you're combining them? Yeah. Because you had one or the other before. I'm making a bet here. It's art so of the you deal. have to do a marathon. If I get wheelies, cigarettes. I'll do 
two packs. Two packs. No, one pack. <laughs> I want to do two packs. Bad negotiation. Art of the deal. Art of the <laughs> steal. Art of the squeal. <laughs> Zach with the noises. Uh, yeah, horrible deal for you, but yes. All right, now enough for the sports. This guy's 86 years old. And his wife is 91, Jake. And he's a nudist. He has a name. Nudist. No. Nope. Stuart Haywood. Haywood. His wife's name is Rona Haywood. Uh, they go to vacation, the same nudist colony, all the time. And it just gets to be in the breeze and free. But they're too old to travel all the way to that colony now. So he's asking his neighbors if anyone has a garden area that he can be naked in. Just because he needs to get his fix. Like one week a year, this dude needs to be naked and outside. His wife's not a nudist. She's not going to be nude, just him. Jim, you mentioned the art of the deal. Uh, you know, he's not, he gets how the world works. So he says, I'm, I don't expect you to do this for free. I have something to offer. In return, I'm willing to share my knowledge of gardening, local history. Local history only. Sports history, and anything which may be interesting to the garden owners. So he gave... Oddly specific things. And then anything. And then open it up the board. Because I can learn and teach. Yeah. I mean, he's 86 and he can still like think. How local is local? Because that's where I'd have to really figure it out. Is it this <laughs> block? It's highly local. History of my house. It's as local as it gets. That's all he wants to do. So like, would you let this guy live in your backyard naked for one week? For a week? Yeah. Okay. Be on the back patio with Stu in the nude talking about local history. Those are the things you remember. Where does he keep his clothes while he's at your house? Doesn't need them. Do you make him de his car outside? Why do you need clothes? Well, I think he's going to walk from the front to your house with clothes on and then ditch him somewhere. I would discuss that in the contract. I don't think he needs that. My contract would be I get to spray him with a hose once a day. <laughs> and he can't know when. Oh, Stu would really hate that. Yeah. <laughs> He'd piss. You spray me with your hose in it. It's the employee of the, of the week. week. It's the employee boop, boop, of the week. Boop, 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 I think this is a deserving boop, 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 one. Kenny. 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 Kenny merch. Kenny merch stuff. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all of it. Did a photo shoot. You guys look good. You look great in your photo shoot. Everyone's in the photo shoot. Uh, you guys look great in that photo shoot. New merch. Joe's with the trucker hat on. Alien. So congratulations to Chan. Chenny. I got Uncle Chen on the mind. Uncle Chen on the mind. Uncle Chenny. Kenny and Uncle Chen would have a good Face time. morph them. <laughs> it's oh. just Jake. <laughs> <laughs> That's... It's just you in the end. In your home. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code JOMBOY and receive $150 in free bets if their bet hits after placing a $5 pregame football wager. That's promo code JOMBOY, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. I was flying home when the okay. U.S. was playing England yeah. and California to New York, uh, New Jersey, actually. And man, when that whistle blew mm. and everyone's phones said FT for full time, full time, the whole flight erupted in yeah? cheers. Yeah. Down with England, down with England, down with England. Stamp back. Don't think so. Eat shit, Cornwallis. Whole plane. It's just nice to be united. Can you fact check that? <laughs>